Hey guys, Alice Nation here again. And for Christmas, I got an iPod Nano. I mean, for some of you guys who get all the cool gadgets and stuff like that, you might think it's nothing. But then again, the most sophisticated piece of shit that I have is a laptop. And it's not even mine, so this is really one of the few things that I can call my electronics. Because my family's tight on money, I mean. And this was a present that my mom, that my dad's, uh, what am I saying? My dad's girlfriend gave um, me, and that was really nice of her. So, I have flowers on my design, because I, I like flowers, I'm sorry. I still have a girlish side to me. I'm a girl. <laughs> okay. So, today I'm going to review... Deadbeat. Um, I'm sorry, I paused it. So, this is the Deadbeat cover. You can just go on RufusRex.com and look at it. This is the cover too bright. It's actually a really nicely drawn cover. I was actually very impressed with it. So, this is my review on the CD. You know. Okay, I bought it off of iTunes for $9.90, like most CDs. Um, I could only choose, I can only buy like a couple songs per week with this thing, so I'm like, okay, I'll get Rufus Rex because it totally beats the other creature feature cd but i'll be getting that next week and doing a review okay the first song is rise lazarus rise and this is the very first song that i ever heard from rufus rex and i can for sure say it is an amazing song i mean it has an amazing feel with the the, the accordion violin and everything it's an amazing song, really. The diction does not need any help. The notes are on pitch. The guitar. Oh, my God, the guitar. Curtis is not a guitar god, but he is a guitar genius. So. The second song is Personal Demons, my favorite out of the entire thing. And this one has a very rock feel to it. And there's a lot of guitars the only thing that I could say needed more, it needed more diction, because I, I love Creature Feature and all, but the problem is I can never understand the lyrics. Simply, it's either because he goes too fast, but even when he goes slow, is, I mean, he has a wonderful singing voice, but he just goes very quickly and has doesn't have that great of diction, but then again, there's something we can all work on, so yeah. From the dust returned a titan. Oh my god. I loved that song so much. The gypsy ending, the middle part of it, was amazing. I was really in for a treat when I listened to this song. Buckets of Blood is the fourth song. Buckets of Blood, I believe it's the fourth song. Yes, it's a fourth song. Buckets of Blood had a very feel, a really fun, energetic feel to it because it was fast paced and the singing and all. And it never really hit any of the low notes. And I mean, Curtis RX, who is the singer who pretty much did everything, it's his solo project, he has. He likes to hit the low notes, and I personally get a little irked by it, because I think he tends to stick better more on, like, the middle notes, and on personal demons, he went up very high, and that was amazing, because I have never, well, yeah, I've heard guys go that high, but it, he was really good. Uh, Worlds in Between 5 had a Lovecraft feel, feel to it. Oh my god, Lovecraft Cthulhu. That's all I have to say. Ingenious Forms of Torture was a sixth song, and it's pretty much about torture devices, if you didn't understand it. If you didn't, if you don't know what torture means, it means you get put on a rack, and then you get, like, 
stretched out. That's the rack is actually mentioned in the song as well as many other forms of torture. The seventh song is Body in Revolt. Body in Revolt. Wow. That was inspired by the Ray Bradbury Mystery Theater. And I like Ray Bradbury. I think he's an amazing author. And Body in Revolt, a very Bradbury feel to it. And I absolutely loved it. Miss Me to Death one of the most amazing love songs I've ever heard. Why? Simply because it, this song is more about oh so then like I fucked this girl and yeah I got her pregnant and then I left her. No, this song actually talks about how it's sad when a loved one goes away and how people will miss them and it just it's love. It's a love song and I don't care if you're gonna call Jar of Hearts a love song because even though I love that song it's not a love song. These songs that are coming out today about sex aren't about love. And I think Miss Me to Death really brought back that sad love song feel to it. Dead Air, the ninth song. A post-apocalyptic post scenario about a man, the last man on earth, Vincent Price film, um, is trying to find life on earth. Amazing song. Diction, amazing the song totally spawn hit the diction. I loved it. You'll never guess. This song I used to hate, but it grew on me, and now I love this song. I thought it was funny, simply because Curtis does his little southern imitation, and as a, a person from L.A., he's from L.A., I'm from L.A., we both, I think he knows that we people from LA can not do southern accents if it were to save our lives but it was a really funny light song you know about like someone finding something in their garden and then you really oh it's a dead person but other than that I really thought that was a funny funny song okay what do I give this album out of 10 I give it a 10 out of 10 no I have no complaints except for the diction but it was so little, It's it was just this much. And I'm like, this album was definitely worth the money. I mean, it could have been more expensive than 990, honestly. Um, I do not understand why Curtis and Eric aren't famous. Because Curtis has amazing vocals. I have heard him live. And I can tell you, he still has amazing vocals. He's a very talented man, and I do, don't understand why they're not famous. And I'm, I'm kind of sad to see that they're not famous, but I'm kind of glad to see that they're not going to sell out because they're really doing it about the music. I mean, this album could have been played on the radio because there's really nothing bad about it. I mean, the worst thing they say is damn, and honestly, Creature Feature is not a very, it's not an inappropriate band. Um, I personally loved it, and I give it a 10 out of 10, an A+, plus if this were a book. Um, speaking of which, the Rufus Rex comic book is coming out, and I will definitely review that when I get it. I will get it. I'll, I'll go to hottopic.com or whatever. But anyway, excellent, excellent CD. If you're a fan of, um, Voltaire, um or Mindless Self-Indulgence, I recommend Creature Feature. I do. Even if you like Insane Clown Posse, I recommend re recommend them. I think they're an amazing band. I recommend Rufus Rex. Amazing. I'm sorry. My dog is a bitch. Not really. He has a penis. Trust me. <laughs> That's him. But anyway... That's about it. Amazing lyrics. Oh my god. So well thought through. I mean, you could totally tell Curtis put his heart and soul into this. Um, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I had not heard anything like that. Anything like that for years. 
Of course, I mean, there's Emily Autumn, but, I mean, now we only see, you know, these, like, pop musicians who only, who are male and only sing about sex. I was so glad to see something that a male musician wrote that has nothing to do with sex. I was just so happy to see that. I mean, very intelligent lyrics. Um, excellent excellent um cd excellent music i i told myself i'm gonna earn money for this because this is one of those i don't believe in downloading music illegally but if anyone has done has has done this to rufus rex i mean that's just low because something as good as that does not deserve to be downloaded illegally i mean Everyone needs money, I know. But if you can afford it, I definitely recommend you buy it. It's it's amazing. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.